This is Brief Briefing. Collector turns down $1 million for NBA Top Shot, originally bought for $100,000. The collector, Jared Levine, bought the Match S1 Hollow Zion Williamson Jersey NFT on January 25th for $100,000. The token is of legendary rarity and was first issued in the Holo MMX pack during Top Shot Series 1. Terry Crews has launched a social currency of his own. According to Tech Church, Crews' ultimate goal with his power social currency is to empower artists. That's our long-term plan, to become this thing that this community can live and exist in, Crews said. Cruz's currency is minted on Roll, which has seen 1.2 billion in the past 24 hours of market cap, and the trading volume is at 2.7 million. Russia's central bank will test digital ruble in 2022. By the end of the year, hopefully, we will be able to present a prototype of a digital ruble platform, he said, adding, but it won't allow us to process real transactions yet, said Deputy Chairman of the Central Bank, Alexei Nabutskin. Wisdom Tree files with SEC for Bitcoin ETF. The Wisdom Tree Bitcoin Trust is to be an ETF that will be issued Common shares listed on the CBOW BZX Exchange Inc. and trade under the ticker symbol BTCW. Proposed financial literacy law that calls for crypto education advances in Georgia. The bill states that the State Board of Education shall prescribe a program of study in personal financial literacy to be completed by students during high school and goes on to cite 16 areas of financial literacy. Chinese social media Weibo suspends Huobi, OKX, and Binance accounts. Immediately after Chinese users noticed the suspensions online, HBO's native exchange token HT, OKB, and BNB started to see a drop between 3 to 7%. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We also save brave tokens. IOTEX rallies 300% after DeFi and Amazon Web Services integration. This is not investment advice. This is pure entertainment. Here we can see the pump and the swift dump. Be careful out there. In a other episode, I covered Exceed Me in an article. Normally what I do is, this is hard news, so I just provide you with the pure facts and it is up to you to decide what is best for you. So I looked at Exceed. It's been performing well, keep in mind, it could drop at any time by like 90%. Cryptocurrency is crazy. So they're going to have an XED DEX that allows users to exchange community tokens, FTSs, or NFTs and add liquidity to exchanges. So they're going to build out a decentralized exchange for NFTs. And we have Mint World allows organizers and developers to create their own tournaments, foster engagement between members and create their own exclusive community based economy. Here we can see how the liquidity market works. You can deposit, swap, buy, and most importantly, sell. So with the XED token, uh, you get lower fees, exclusive tournaments, tokens, and collectibles of NFTs and digital perks. The fees can be cut down up to 50%, which is a great incentive for someone looking to game. This um, platform is for um, less of pro people and more just like a everyday person. So they're saying that the current problem with uh, current gaming um, economy is just pros make it predatory ad economy and app bundle purchases, ads, uh, 
marketed aggressively and strategically uh, points during game uh, progression, soiled game assets, player buying and earn in-game currencies, and virtual assets they can't monetize or transfer to other digital worlds. Now, that is just a predicament that can be easily fixed with blockchain. I mean, I've been in a video game, and I've had something that's very valuable. Other people want it. I just simply want to give it to them inside the game, but I can't, so what do I do? Not give it to them. Not sell it. Not monetize it. I get all this wealth inside the game that I can't monetize, and that is what XED seeks to fix. Now, this is just the beginning of game monetization into NFTs. Technically, you can turn a video game into an NFT. And one day, they will be able to store the data within the blockchain and create like a super NFT. But for now, NFTs can be made, NFT games, which might is likely what they will be doing as well once they get accustomed to the nft process process which is fairly easy so you can participate in exceed matches and tournaments exceed me leagues participation rewards you get progression rewards you have staking pools of xed and nfts rewards are unlocked for each gamer will be based on the amount of nxt they stake Exceed me platform fees are used to fund the XED reward pool, NFT reward pools, and to maintain operations and fund platform continuous development. If you're interested in the currency, please continue to look. All the advisors are heavy hitters. Uh, Nuno is the founder and chief strategy officer of Utrust blockchain payment company. Rui is CEO and co-founder of Bet Protocol, a blockchain-based CS empowering business and entrepreneurs to launch esports gaming platforms. And Guhim previously worked with Bleep, after which he co-founded Mindry, a software craft studio with 500 plus people spread across three continents. They also have their eSport ambassador, Ricardo uh, from FOX, a CSGO player. Thank you for your valuable time. Don't forget to like, subscribe. What you, do you think? Let me know down below of Terry Cruz's coin of Russia Central Bank considering joining the blockchain movement of chinese companies the social companies just straight up banning chinese uh, exchanges of the expansion of iotex what do you think of x said me do you think that the tournament was awesome there was a competition between top developers of various cryptocurrencies such as Chainlink, for example. Like, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think, and as always, have a good one.